Hello everyone, welcome to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is Kate Ferdinand wowed onlookers upon her arrival at the Top Boy 2 film premiere with her husband Rio Ferdinand in London on Friday. The former TOWIE star, 30, flashed her toned midriff in a sleeve grey crop top which she teamed up with coordinating zip-up velour trousers. Adding inches to her enviable frame with a pair of black heels, she accessorized her look with a neon yellow handbag along with a pair of dazzling gold earrings. Her dapper partner, 43, wrapped up in a fluffy black jacket which he combined with a matching pair of glossy leather trousers and beige trainers. Having flawlessly applied a full face of makeup, Kate looked adoringly at the former football player as they posed on the red carpet. Elsewhere at the event, Leanne Pinnock put on a leggy display, showing off her endless pins in a dark green mini skirt, with the thigh skimming number featuring large pockets and a zip-up detail. The singer, 30, teamed her skirt with a matching bomber jacket, with the beauty rounding off her look with sparkling mesh heels. Accessoring her chic look, Leanne added a smattering of gold jewelry including hooped earrings, while she upped the glam with a sweep of shimmering green eyeshadow. Ensuring all eyes were on her, the Little Mix star styled her raven locks into an elaborate crown like updo. Following the shocking 2019 season 3 finale, fans have eagerly been awaiting the return of Top Boy. Netflix recently revealed that fans won't have to wait much longer as the next series is set to air on March 18. The new series will see Ashley Walters, Kano, Michael Ward and Little Sims reprise their roles as Duchesne, Sully, Jamie and Shelley. It comes as Kate recently had an emotional morning as her husband Rio Ferdinand collected an honorary doctorate degree from London South Bank University on Thursday. The ex-reality star was certainly dressed to impress as she took to Instagram to share a gorgeous snap of herself in an eye-popping red suit. Kate showed off her cinched waistline with a coordinating belt and elevated her height with a pair of black heels while storing her essentials in a matching handbag. The former footballer accepted the degree for his social campaigning work and advocacy, including tackling inequality, racism and mental health stigma. His registered charity, the Rio Ferdinand Foundation, supports young people between the ages of 10 and 25 in the most disadvantaged communities. Taking to the social media platform to gush about her partner, Kate shared a slew of snaps of her partner dressed in a grey suit, along with a blue robe and a navy cap. The WAG wrote, So proud of my husband, it's been such an emotional morning. Rio was recognized by at LSBU with an honorary doctorate for all of his work in the community, from at Rio Ferdinand Foundation to his help in tackling inequality, racism the stigma around mental health. Your achievements in football are out of this world but what I love about you most is what you do to help others. So proud, forever will be, Dr. Ferdy Redheart. The sports pundit puckered up to his other half as they posed for an adorable selfie, after he shook hands with a member of the university's staff on stage. Kate pulled out all the stops for World Book Day just hours earlier as she donned orange face paint for her Oompa Loompa costume as she celebrated with her son Cree, 15 months. The influencer dressed as the character from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, sporting a green wig and covering herself in orange body and face paint. The star shared a sweet photo with Cree, who was dressed as our mini Woody from Toy Story as the two walked hand in hand outside their home. You've got a friend in me, the doting mum captioned the photo, Kate is stepmother to Rio's kids Lorenz, 15, Tate, 13, and Tia, 10. Rio's late wife and the mother to his kids Rebecca Ellison died of cancer in 2015 aged just 34, while he married Kate in 2019. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.